Hi, this is Dave with NAPCO Tech Support. Today I'm going to discuss how to use the NAPCO Tech Library. Our tech library is where we keep all of our documentation, videos, and software for our NAPCO security and alarm lock devices. In this video today, I will cover how to create an account, how to navigate the website, and I will show you a few examples of common items people often search for. Please feel free to pause the video at any time if it makes it easier to follow along. First and foremost, the web address for our tech library is tech.napcosecurity.com. In order to download documents and software from the tech library, you must have an account. When you first arrive at the website, this is the screen you will see. In the upper right hand corner, you can see login and register. If you do not have a login already, you will need to register for the site. At this time, I would like to note that your ComNet login does not apply here. This website is separate from ComNet. So even if you already have a dealer ID and password that is for ComNet and all the other related websites, your login for the tech library will be for the tech library only and nothing else. To register for the tech library, you will click on the register button. When you get to the registration page, you will notice red asterisks next to most of the fields. Those red asterisks indicate fields that must be filled out. If you fail to fill in one of these fields, your registration will not complete. The area people tend to miss the most is the section that says brands of interest. Make sure you check at least one box there or your registration will not complete. Do not forget to check the I am not a robot capture at the bottom. After you have registered for the tech library, your registration must be approved by a supervisor before you can log in. When you have been approved, you will receive an email. These registrations are usually verified in the morning. If you want your registration expedited, you can call into our tech support team and ask for it to be expedited. If you are only interested in alarm lock products, then check only alarm lock under brands of interest and your account will automatically be approved. You will not receive an email and you will be able to log in as soon as you complete the registration. If you click anything else, you will have to wait for approval. Another thing I would like to discuss is what to do if your login fails. Sometimes you will run into this situation where you may have forgotten your username or password. If your login fails, you will get this message that says, Login failed. If you registered recently, your account may still be pending approval. This is a generic message. It doesn't always mean your account hasn't been approved. It's just a reminder that if you just registered, it may still need to be approved. If you are sure your account has been approved, or if you have previously logged in, the next step you could take is clicking on Forgot Password. You will then be taken to this window where you will type in your email you registered with and click Email Password. Within a minute, you should receive an email that looks like this. It will be from NAPCO Emails and it will be titled Password Recovery for NAPCO Technical Library. Then in the body, it will say, your password is, and have your password. In this demonstration, you can see I have the password blocked out. If the password you received is the password you have been typing, then maybe you are entering the wrong username. In that case, you can click on forgot username. Once again, you will be brought to the page where you will enter your email and click email username. In about a minute, you should receive an email from NAPCO emails titled Username Recovery for NAPCO Technical Library. And in the body, it should say your username is and then your username. If you cannot remember the email you used when you registered, then you will have to call in and we will help you figure that out. Now that you know how to register for the tech library, let's talk about how to navigate. At the top, 
you will see home, technical library, software downloads, and training. Home will always bring you back to this page. Technical library is where you go for documentation. Software downloads is for software, drivers, and firmware, and the training tab will take you to training links. You will see under both technical library and software downloads, NAPCO, Alarm Lock, and NAPCO Access Pro. NAPCO is for NAPCO security alarm products, Alarm Lock is for alarm lock devices, and NAPCO Access Pro is for our Continental product line. Also, these three buttons in the middle of the page will take you to the corresponding brand's technical library and not the software download. When you choose an option under the technical library, you will be taken to a page that gives you four options. Browse by document type, browse by product type, what's new, and dealer portal. Browse by document type allows you to sort what you are looking for based on the type of document. For example, if you are looking for an installation manual, you will choose that. Or if you are looking for battery standby calc worksheets, you will click on that. You also have California State Fire Marshal listings, UL listings, and many other options. For example, if I click on installation manuals, I get a list of all installation manuals sorted from newest to oldest. And if you want to filter them down, you can click on where it says filter by product type. In this example, I will choose Starlink Wireless Communications, and now it shows only the installation manuals for Starlink radios. When you click on Browse by Product Type, you will have options that include Firelink, the Gemini app, keypads, and many other options. Keep in mind that if you go this route, you will get everything for that product. For example, if I click Starlink Wireless Communicators, I get a list of all documents for Starlink sorted from newest to oldest. And if you want to filter them down, you can click where it says filter by document type. In this example, I will choose installation manuals. And now it shows only the installation manuals for Starlink radios. You can reach the same destination using both methods. It all just depends on how you want to go about it. This works the same way for Alarm Lock and NAPCO Access Pro. When you click on software downloads, you just need to choose the brand underneath it. You will then be routed to the list of all software products for that brand, and from there, you can filter it out by clicking on Filter by Product Type, just like before. What's new will take you to a section that shows you the most recent documents that have been uploaded to the website, and the dealer portal will be covered in a separate video, but that's not within the scope of what we're dealing with today. Now that I've explained the basic navigation of the site, I will go over some examples of the most common requests I see here at NAPCO Tech Support. One of the more common questions I get asked is, how do I find the battery calc sheet for the Firelink panel? To find this, you would click on Technical Library, then choose NAPCO, choose Browse by Document Type, then click on Battery Standby Calc Worksheets. Once you get to the Battery Standby Calc Worksheet page, choose Filter by Product Type, and then Firelink. Now the only thing that shows on the screen is the worksheet for the Firelink panel. All you would have to do now is click on where it says Download, and it will download the file. For my second example, we will cover how to find the installation template for the DL6300. Click on Technical Library, Alarm Lock, Browse by Document Type, then click on Templates. Next, you will click on Filter by Product Type and choose the option Trilogy Locks. You will see the template for the DL6300. As you can see, this template is the same for other locks that have the same footprint. For this example, we are going to look for the NAPCO Quick Loader software. And to find that, you click on Software Downloads, NAPCO, then click on Filter by Product Type, 
and choose PCD Windows Quick Loader. You can see here that we always label the newest version of our software with latest in parentheses. It is very important that you keep your software up to date. It's free software, so you don't have to pay for the upgrade. Our Quick Loader is backwards compatible, but not forward compatible, meaning that it will work with products older than itself, but any products released later will have compatibility issues, so always keep your software up to date. I would also like to mention that if you accidentally choose the wrong filter, you will first have to set it back to filter by product type before you can select your next option. Which leads me to our fourth example, control panel firmware. After you go to software downloads, NAPCO, you will choose control panel from the product filter. All 3200, 9600, and X255 panels from version 70 and up all take the same firmware and they can all have their firmware updated by using the Quick Loader software. When you click the link for the file, you will notice you have a link in the description to watch a video on how to update the firmware for the panel using the Quick Loader software. A very important part of our tech library are these video tech tips. They are found under the technical library side of the site. For example, we will choose technical library, NAPCO, browse by document type, and then down at the bottom we have video tech tips. If we want videos for the Starlink radios, we can choose in the filter Starlink Wireless Communications, and you will see only videos for those products. Finally, I would like to point out that the AlarmLock DL Windows software does not require you to log in to download. In my example here, I will log out and go to Software Downloads, AlarmLock, I will then choose DL Windows in my filter, find the version marked latest, and click download. The product is now downloading and I didn't need to log in. This is the only software that you can do this for on this site. Everything else requires a login. Now you know how to use the NAPCO Tech Library. So if you need any documentation, software, or videos, remember to go to tech.napcosecurity.com. <music>